Want some ammo? I'm still waiting, brother. For what? You didn't tell me how you knew about the rifles. You talk too much. Yeah, well, you talk too little. Look. The Weeping Rock. That's gotta be it. We're gonna have to go around those hills. Well, let's go. But we'll get back to our conversation later, brother. We found it. We gotta go around the pass and find a place to cross the river. I guess we don't need your half-breed anymore. Mount up and keep your eyes open! <laughs> Stay close to the wagons! They say you can't see a redskin until he cuts your throat. No, no, no. They don't cut throats. They scalp. They cut. They scalp. They fill you full of arrows. They crack skulls open with hatchets. What are you trying to do? You scare me? Not trying, Pancho. Succeeding. Aliens! They're in the bushes! Where? I can't see any! Stop the wagons! What did you see? In the woods, I saw one! Amigos, can you go see what Pancho was so afraid of? Move. Get a move on. Engines. Right. Your man can't tell the difference between a man and a bird. I'm telling you they're here. I can smell him. And I can smell someone pissing their pants. Amigo, calm down. It's better to be careful. Vamonos, let's go! say there are no Indians here, amigo. Well, I didn't say the word. I said that someone pissed his pants, and I was right. Come back, you pendejo. The bastard's going to bring back his whole tribe. Mount up! Move! We better find a way over the river. Not so quick. What the hell was that? Puta madre! 
Padre, what now? Hijo de... Mierda! It's stuck! We must push! Pancho, move your ass! Oye, amigos! Maybe one of you can get up and help! What are you waiting for? Move! Where's the second wagon? I don't know. It raced across the river. Maybe your brother panicked. And maybe they were carried away by the horses. We gotta follow them. You go on alone while we push the wagon out. Move! Get him. Split up! 
Safe William. I'll follow the girl. We'll meet at the wagon. Don't you let me down, Thomas. Go right. Marisa! Marisa, it's me! Marisa! Thomas! Thomas! The horses carried us away and then those Indians... I didn't know what to do. Shh, it's okay. I'm here. I was so afraid they were gonna kill you. I'm not that easy to kill. Come on, we gotta get you back to the wagon. Ray and William are waiting. Can you walk? I think so. Just don't leave me. Thomas, don't leave me. Safe when you're close. I can't wait until this is all over and we can be together. I wish this moment could last forever just to be alone with you. Thomas, what about Juan? He stayed with the wagon. That's not what I'm asking. You think he suspects something? He trusts us about as much as we trust him. He's not stupid. I was asking about us. You tell me. Are you jealous? Are you? Maybe. You don't need to be. Right now, Juarez needs me and Ray. Whatever happens, you know I'll protect you. I think she already has a good protector. Now, I warned you, brother. Don't you let me down. Ray? What you doing here? You left the wagon? No, the Comanches took it. So we can go back to Mendoza? Yeah, but what for? For the rifles. The Apaches will trade us the medallion form, remember? Ah, those rifles. You mean the ones we don't have. All right, let's go.
Oh my god! Watch him, brother! Let's go. It's warriors! Juan! Marisa! I thought they had killed you, like my men. You two are tough! It's the second time you rescue my Marisa, and I go and take you for Comanche. Where is my wagon? The Comanches took it. Maybe they'll leave us alone now. Listen, friend. I'm grateful that you saved my woman. But now we need to save the wagon. There's 100 rifles on it. Oh, shit. Well, they couldn't have gotten far. Mount up, amigos. At least they won't bother covering their tracks. Get a move on!
Got him now. They don't seem too worried. You see that rock over there? You climb up there and I'll flush them out. And we'll see how worried they are then. All right, let's take that wagon. The whole damn tribe! Let's get the hell out of here! Andale! Get on the wagon and grab that Gatling gun! They stopped. 
What the hell? Why aren't they chasing us? Look around, amigo. Weapon Rock. See, si, amigo. This is Apache territory. Those Comanche don't need another enemy. You know, amigo, I think your god is watching over us. We made it through Comanche territory, and yet we still have our scalps. Of course he's watching over us. He loves us. All of us. Even you. There are no evil men. Only evil deeds. Evil depends on your point of view. The savages here see us as white devils. Yet, because we bring them rifles, they welcome us with open arms. Friends! Easy! Sing farther! Tell your brothers we are not enemies! We have your weapons! Your rifles! There will be no deal, Snake Tongue! You tried to trick us! This weapon does not work! One rifle! One of three hundred! None of them work! No! This isn't necessary! Paki Ho! Kill them all! No! Father! This is the young shaman who warned me of their treachery! That little bastard! Father, please! The young shaman is my friend. He betrayed his own kind to protect our people. And for this, what should his reward be? Their lives. Please, spare their lives. The young shaman's heart is so big it covers his eyes. But as he's seeing father's friend, I will do as he wishes. The great Apache war chief, Running River, spares your lives. Leave our land. We will take your horses, your weapons, and your wagons as ransom. And the woman. What? Running River wants your woman. Juan. As you're the only one Juan. who knew of the rifles. No. You're the only one who could have betrayed. Juan. Take her. Beat her. What? Enjoy her. For she is a lying whore, and that is all she's good for. The young shaman and his kin can stay in our camp and rest their horses, for they should not expect a warm welcome. Hounded by the army, pushed from their traditional lands, the Apaches hid out in the high mountains of northern Arizona and scratched out a meager existence. They naturally distrusted us whites. Our brother's cold and angry dispositions didn't help any. Ray didn't like the way the young braves looked at Marissa. He was restless and on edge, and I was afraid that at any moment he might blow. I wanted to go before there was bloodshed, but seeing Farther wanted to speak to us alone. About what, I wasn't sure, but I suspected that none of it would come to any good. I know why you're here, and what you want. The medallion. I can help you. Why would you want to help us get the medallion? My father wants to use it to buy weapons for a war against the White Eyes. What will the fate of our people be if he succeeds? The Apache will be no more. So you just gonna go fetch it for us? No. But I will show you where it is. You don't have the medallion here? The medallion is cursed. As I have told you before, our ancestors took it from a Mexican priest in return for his life. Soon after, a great sickness ravaged our village. Many died. One of the survivors traded it to the Navajo for food, and the Navajo, too, were ravaged by sickness. Medicine Man saw that the medallion had dark power. He drowned it in a lake high in the mountains. His people guard it to this day. So, Running River was trading a medallion he didn't even have? He intended to show you its resting place. 
He hoped it would bring bad medicine to you as well. And in the process, bring hell down on the Navajo? We are sworn enemies. <laughs> well, that's pretty cagey. Two dead enemies for the price of one. How do we know you're not sending us to die in those mountains, too? Because I am going with you. For without my help, you would not find it. Partner, I hope you're not bullshitting us. Because if this is some lying Apache trick, it'll be the last one you ever pull. I hate boats. I hate water. Would you stop your whining? Jesus. The fact you hate water is pretty damn obvious. You smell like the inside of an old boot. It, like you smell any better. You both smell bad. Your stink almost covered up the smoke. Smoke? Where? Here. Everywhere. We're in Navajo territory. The village has to be close. Uh, you didn't say nothing? What were you waiting for? An arrow in the back? The Navajo have mainly rifles now. What? If the village is close, we will see some lookouts. Watch the shore. Here they are, on the left-hand side. Do not let anyone get away or they will tell the village we are here. Here they are. Kill them all! Shoot them down! Take them out! Here they are, on the left-hand side. Do not let anyone get away or they will tell the village we are here. Here they are. Kill them all! Shoot them down! Take them out! Kill them all! See that? That bastard was mine. Is that all of them? That's all, I guess. Tell me, Chief. So that medallion's on the bottom of the lake? Yes. Somewhere high in the mountains. Oh, great. So, why are we going to the village? We go where the spirit of the Grey Coyote leads us. Spirit of the what? There. Well, son of a bitch. Are you telling me that we are being led by a damn dog? The Grey Coyote. The spirit of my great-grandfather, who sold the medallion to the Navajo. He wants us to go through the village. This way. Now keep quiet. Let's go. Nice and quiet. Keep close. Come and look. Only if you are awake. Maybe we can slip through without being seen. Your furry grandpa tell you that? You hear that? It's coming from the mountains. We have to take the path of the dead. Okay, but I don't like the sound of that. It's where the Navajo lay their dead to rest. We'll go through the burial ground, but we must stay silent, so as not to awaken any dark spirits. Follow me. Oh, you scared of ghosts, brother. I'm more worried about the live ones. Let me give you a hand up. It's too quiet. Wait here. Watch out!
Oh, they spotted us. Hurry! We must get to the path of the dead. Where did they all come from? See those rocks, right? Maybe you can drop a couple of your hands. Cover me! Now! Go, go, go! Whoa! Good job. Well, that should hold them for a while. Go up! Now, we get the rock in the there. They're behind rocks. Let's make those yellow bellies sorry they were ever born. Come on! Let's unload some land on these pecker heads. Around the front. Hell, they didn't even clear the damn holsters. Oh, two's hard to be challenged. All right. Damn, brother, say something to me. Take cover. Up the boat! Take cover! Still intact after that. Bastards broke the bridge. What now, Chief? Where'd your grandpa go? Chase down a squirrel? The gray coyote showed us the lake and the dam. He's telling us something. Telling us what? We must discover his meaning. <laughs> right. In the meantime, let's find another way. Let us get closer to the dam. We can go by way of the riverbed. Lead the way. The dam, the river. He's telling us something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad I don't speak coyote. Oh, there's always something. This tree's barely standing. We'll push it over and make ourselves a bridge. Give me a hand. Nice job pitching in there, brother. As usual. What? 
Well, come on. You let me do all the pushing. Well, hell, you're the one with the muscles. It's too quiet. From the front! Behind those rocks. <laughs> Too quiet. From the front! Behind those rocks. It's an ambush. Find some cover. Let's move. Well, what the hell now? You expect me to climb this? We'll go around this way. This trail leads to the lake. Is that a campfire? Smoke signals. They are warning the other villages. We must hurry before more come. I think they're already here. can avoid catching some of theirs. The Navajo drowned the medallion. We must swim down to the bottom and find it. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Whose idea is this? Your grandma, the horny toad? I tell you right now, there's no way in hell. How are we even gonna find it? Grey Coyote showed us to the lake and the dam. Dam? Dam! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's just blow this some bitch. If that medallion's down there, we'll find it. Hurry! The Navajo are coming! 
Let's go. This way. See the shacks? Just like the ones at Devlin's camp. So what? It means that the Navajo didn't build this dam. Not alone, anyway. How about you stop your jawing and blow up the damn dam? I'm getting to it. Navajo! Go, go, go! are already lit. We got one minute to waste them. Half a minute! See the shacks? Just like the ones at Devlin's camp. So what? It means that the Navajo didn't build this dam. Not alone, anyway. How about you stop your jawing and blow up the damn dam? I'm getting to it. Navajo! Go, go, go! go. Cover, right? 
What are you, crazy? The fuses are already lit. We got one minute to waste them. Half a minute. This way, come on. The sacred place of the Navajo. That is where the medallion is. Well, uh, let's get what we came here for. Why aren't they attacking us? Get ready, brother. This is a sacred place. They will not shed blood here. Well, hell, if they won't, we will. Another bath. Only through the dam can we escape. This is what the Great Coyote was trying to tell us. There's no other way, right? Come on!
Get a move on. Ciao. Still alive and clean as a whistle. They can shoot at me, they can set my damn ass on fire, but I fucking hate water. Well, boy, we owe your great granddaddy a big debt of gratitude. Boy, great grandfather doesn't want your gratitude. You are like two mad wolves. You've insulted the ancestors of the Navajo and have violated their sacred place. For that, he will surely be punished.
So this is what's gonna lead us to the treasure? Hand it over. Why do you get it? You two are not worthy. Your brothers will kill each other over this. It is you who should hold it. I will teach the young shaman its secret. Without his help, you will never find the treasure. What about the woman? We're not leaving without her. I'll lead the woman out. But you must capture the attention of the braves guarding her. Wait, how do we do that? <laughs> People will always watch a fight. A fight? Why not? You're both here for the woman. A fight will determine who is the strongest, the most deserving of her affection. What the hell did he mean by that? The object everyone's been after, the very thing that caused so much pain and bloodshed, is now in my hands. Seeing farther told me its secret, and now I too carry the burden. It hangs from my neck like a millstone, and Ray gazes at it as lustfully as he does Marissa. Maybe it is better I hold it, otherwise my brothers would kill each other to possess it. I pray to the Almighty for our safe passage from this dangerous place. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. What did he mean by we're both here for the woman? I asked you a question. Don't push me, Ray. That girl's mine. Yeah? Well, what if she don't want you? She told me she did. Because she was hoping you'd kill Juarez. She'd say anything to be rid of him. You have a way with women, Thomas. No doubt about it. But not this time. This time, I'm the one who gets the girl. Who you think told me about Juarez's scheme? About them guns? Jesus Christ, open your eyes, Ray. You can't see the forest for the trees. How long has this been going on? Since the beginning. Why are you doing this to me, brother? It ain't about you, Ray. It's about me, and it's about Marissa. What's going on? Who the hell's that? Barnsby. Hide! Oh. They're coming from the front!
They're all around us! There's more coming. See you in hell! Here's a taste of hell! See how long it takes. some rocks down on them. Well, you and me, brother, just like old times. I'm only doing this for them. Let's go. Keep close. Oh! 
What are they waiting for? Chief, my name is Bonsby. Colonel in the second corps of the Army of Northern Virginia. I'm here for that medallion, and I will offer you a fair exchange. Hand it over right now, and I will give you back something that you hold dearly. Son of a bitch. He's got your son. I am already dead, father. Do not talk to them. You hand over that medallion or he will die. Right here, right now. Seeing father is Apache. He will face death bravely. Look around you. Your village is gone. Your people are dead. Are you willing to sacrifice your last male heir? You ready to let your line, your tribe, your people die out? Let him go! Hausa! Let him go, and Running River will get you the medallion. No, Chief! I want it in my hands! Then I let him go. Understand? Running River understands. Good. I'll be waiting in the ghost settlement. You surely know where that is. You have until sundown tomorrow. Or your son dies. That medallion ain't where you think it is, Chief. What do you know of it? Where else would it be? Who would dare take it? Your son. Faith is my shield. I have repeated these words over and over, for they are all I have left. Joe had never lost his faith, even though he lost everything he held dear. How can the Lord allow such evil to go unpunished? So much suffering and pain. I hold tight to my faith, for my faith is my shield. Seen father was with William and Marissa. Uh, if he didn't make it to the waterfall, then maybe they didn't either. You think they're dead? <sighs> that would be my guess. And I think it's high time Colonel Barnes been met his maker. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, brother. But, just so you know, when this is over, so are we. I don't ever want to see you again.
Look at that ghost town. Wonder where all the people went. If there's anybody flesh and blood down there, we're in for a surprise. We better stay together. Yeah, you do what you do, and I'll do what I do. Do you hear that, Ray? Well, what do you know? The deserters found the sack to make it back to their old squad. You hear that? I think somebody ought to blow taps. You boys are as good as dead. That house there. Well, let's check. Cover me. What you waiting for? Move! Come on! They ain't here. Someone is playing hide and seek. Hey, you! McCall! How you gonna give me that medallion if you can't find me? Son of a bitch! It's coming from that shack. Should we say hello? Let's do it! You're done! You're done. That loud mouth, some bitch.
I waited a long time for this day, gentlemen. I wouldn't have thought you were Indian lovers. But then you boys constantly surprise me. And now, the medallion, please. Come and get it! I understand you probably don't care if I kill this young brave. At least not as much as his father does. But mark my words, I'm getting that medallion. Even if I have to pry it out of your cold, dead hand. Kill them! Throwing it down from the roof? I can't get to him! I'll climb higher. Cover me!
I got it! Come in! It's time for you, Barsby. Keep close. Yeah, I think we have a piece of unfinished business left. You're talking about yourself, O'Donnell? I knew this day had come, McCall. And this time, you ain't getting away. You and me, in the square. Or what? You're not afraid of me, are you? How about we sweeten the pot? If you win, I'll give you the Indian. If you lose, I take the medallion. You're a lying bastard, O'Donnell. <laughs> you want it just as much as I do, McCall. You and me, mano a mano. Fair deal, fair fight. How come you're in such a hurry to die? Now, it will be one on one. Fair deal. Fair fight. Okay, let's see what you got. You still want your Indian? That lying son of a bitch! Seen father. My son. No. Not my son. My son. You stay with him. We'll make sure that son of a bitch pays. I'll bury you, Barnsby. Don't you give up. Shoot them sons of bitches. Stay put. We need more men. Another Gatling gun. I'll draw fire and you sneak up on him. Take him out, I'm covering you.
So today's the day of judgment, gentlemen. You betrayed your country and your race. On you. Shoot out! You're a disgrace! Bad coward! Take him out, I'm covering you. Shoot him down! And now justice will be done! Let's just put him down, like the mangy dog he is. They caught us. I, I don't know how. The Mexican bandit. Juarez? He captured us and took us to the White Chief. Barnes, babe. He traded me for horses. Just me. Father, it was I who led them to the medallion. I betrayed the Apache. It was not you who betrayed our people, my son. It was I who led us to our slaughter. You told me what would happen. You knew. For you are a seen father, a true Apache. Ma'ande. My son. So William might still be alive. We gotta save him, Ray. The girl, the medallion, Juarez has everything he wanted. What the hell have we done? The place where you pass on is where I met you, mother. For you see, she was my second wife, and you were my second son. White scalp hunters killed my family, and I avenged their murder. I raided the settlement and slaughtered every man, woman, and child. All but one, your mother. Her I took with me to take the place of my Apache bride. My hatred of the white eyes burned inside my heart. When I looked at you, all I could see was the color of your skin. You tried to prove your worth, but I could not see who you were until now. In this place where it all began, this day, my war will end. Running river will become Calm water. I love you, my son. Shazam. And I am sorry. And there is but one last thing I must do. Now wait a second. Just hold on. No! No! My faith is my shield. My faith 
is my shield. My faith is my... Enough! <sighs> Tell me how to use the medallion. Tell me its secret. My faith is my shield. You better talk before your brothers arrive here. Because if you don't, we will capture them. And we will torture them. And for what? For the gold? You told me yourself that riches are the root of all evil. My faith is my... Stop it! Look, this is impersonal. If not for you, I would probably be dead. You'll get your share. Your brothers as well. And Marissa too. There is enough for everyone. After all, are we that different, you and I? You hurt people. I don't. Oh, yes, yes. You are so pure, so pristine, untouched by sin. Well, eventually, everyone gets a little dirty, mijo. Even you. Why are you doing this? Why are you destroying my family? For the money? When I was 11 years old, my stepfather used me like a whore, and I let him, so he would give me something to eat. Juarez is no different. I hate him, and I need to be free of him, and I don't want my child to have such a father. You carry his child? I'm not strong like you or your brothers. I need someone who can protect me. <laughs> like Ray? I thought so at first, but then I realized it wouldn't change anything. To be with another man I did not love? Thomas? You love Thomas. Listen to me. Escúcheme. What is waste for your brothers? He wants his revenge. Take this. I don't want a weapon. I'm not a killer. They will bring hell down on you with everything they have. We are outnumbered and outgunned, and I won't be there to cover your ass. Don't you worry about me. You just found William. Ray, back here in the Apache camp, I, I didn't tell you the truth. Not all of it, anyway. This ain't the time. I didn't plan to fall in love with her. It just... it just happened. Right now, the only thing that matters is William. You're right, big brother. Let's go get him. Setting me free? Not exactly, muchacho. I was thinking about what you said, about the Lord and how he loves you. I thought if your faith is indeed your shield, what if you were to lose it? What if you became one of us, a sinner? What are you talking about? Santos, take your knife and cut his throat. What are you doing? I want to see if your god will protect you. Nice shot, mijo. You didn't hesitate. You just took his life. 
Your brothers would be very proud. See, I told you that you and I were not so different. Maybe now you will tell me how to use the medallion, huh? Ah, your brothers have arrived. Good. They have come to save you. Speak, and maybe you'll save them. How do I use these to find the treasure? Do you prefer silence? Then you will enjoy the silence of the grave. Your brothers can tell me what I need to know. Kill him! What have you done? You should thank me for ending his life quickly. I could have taken my time. Vete al diablo! Do you hear those gunshots? Your amante is here to rescue you. Soon I will take him prisoner and you two will finally be together. For richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live. Which will not be very long. What? I am with child. The question is whose child? It is yours. If that is true, then I will spare you. At least until a child is born. And then I will put you to work in my whorehouse. For that is what you are, is it not? A lying, thieving, gold-loving whore! Okay, let's do this, brother. Kaboom. Okay, let's look around. Okay, let's do this, brother. You yellow belly! Where is he? Come on, Ray. Kaboom. Okay, let's look around. Your brother. What do you need a dead body for? 
and rifles in this part of Mexico. This will do. Don't give me a hard time. Good now. Gringo! Good horsey. There. Okay, one. 
one more. Be afraid now. See you in the square. I've had enough of this blind man's bluff. <laughs> You're not going to shoot me in the back, are you? Well, Ray, now it's your turn. Thomas, don't ever leave me again. 
Never. Never again. I love you. Ray went to get William. We gotta get out of here now. William is dead. What? What has killed him? Where is he? Where is that murderous son of a bitch? No, no, we must leave. Look, the gold is ours. What about Ray? We can't wait for him. Don't you see? This is our chance, our only chance. I can't leave my brother behind. You think he would let us be together? He would kill us both. But only William knew how to use that thing. Not only him. I grew up here, and I have heard the legend since I was a little girl. There is one candle, but three graves. The gold of Juarez belongs only to the brave. I know where those graves are. I can show you the way. for a man who just dodged a bullet. I killed a man, Ray. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with defending yourself, little brother. His blood is on my hands. At least it ain't your blood. Let's go, boy. Thomas is waiting with the horses. Come on. On my sign, run to me and find some cover as close as you can. Now, now, now don't be afraid. Everything's gonna be all right. You again, Jesus Christ! Come on! Die, you Hold on, brother. Oh, shit! Let's go.
Now, come on! Son of a bitch! Come on! Don't be afraid! Come on, I got him. The Thomas is waiting at the gates with the horses. You keep your head down, I'll take a look around. Yeah, come on! Oh, son of a bitch! What the Thomas is waiting at the gates with the horses. You keep your head down, I'll take a look around. You won't get away, son of a bitch! Where are you, Thomas? Thomas! Right! Where are you, you asshole? Dragon, Dragon, they'll kill us! We need to find a different way out of here. Now what different way might that be? You're not Listen to going. me! There's gotta be another way out of here. There was a drain pipe in the cell floor. It's gotta lead somewhere. Great. Well, get behind some cover, William. Lord, protect us. Come on. Oh, Thomas, if you betrayed me, you better hope I never find you. That's a cellar. Come on. Move it, William! 
out there. You'll die here. Indeed I am, amigo. And I'm coming for you. You hear you me? You won't get away. I trusted you. We could have done so much together. We could have been good friends. Well friends. But you have to betray me. You and your father. So now you'll die in this Your dungeons. brother don't care if you Come live on. or die. Wait here. Coming for Give you. Me. You hear me? I trusted you. We could have done so much together. We could have been good you friends. You'll die here. Wealthy friends. But you had to betray me. You, you won't and get your away. fucking brother. So now you'll die in these dungeons. Come on! Stay here. She betrayed you too, huh? Where's your brother? No. Some things we have no control over, eh, amigo? Oh, Thomas. 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 Hey, McCall. You wanna face me straight up? Fight like two men fighting for a woman. For Marisa. To make a right, huh?
Ray! I'm here. You killed them? I don't know. I'm looking for them. Let them be, Ray. Come on. I think there's something in there. Come on, I'll help you. Come on, he doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, he doesn't. Look, a way out. God protect us. God. Ray, what's wrong with you? You're shaking. Thomas wasn't at the gate, and Ray fought like a wildcat. He barely made it out of there alive. He was out of his mind and still out for blood. So I told him the secret of the medallion. I figured it was a fairy tale, but at least it would keep him busy. But it was true. It was real. The medallion led us to the entrance of an ancient vault. The door was already open, and I suspected why. Thomas. Somehow I just knew. Followed the faint light through a passage constructed centuries ago. It was right then and there I made up my mind. I knew what I had to do. I had to save my brothers. I warned you, Thomas. I told you what would happen if you stole another woman from me. William? You said he was dead. That is what Juan said. I told you what I would do. Didn't I tell you? Thomas, don't. He'll kill you. I loved you and you lied to me. Both of you. You betrayed me. What do you want from me, Ray? I want justice. Oh my god. I wanted so desperately to lead my lost brothers towards the light of the Lord. But I failed us all. And now my brothers are mortal enemies. Why? For what? A woman? Gold? Maybe the time for talk is over. Maybe I can show them that there is something more important than pride and avarice and lust. I will not let you kill Thomas, Ray. It's none of your business. To get to him, you have to get past me. Out of the way! Ray, for Christ's sake, he doesn't have a gun! You know what I'm capable of, Ray. I'm a murderer too now, just like you. I won't tell you again, boy. Step away. I'm reaching on three. One. Do it. Two. No! Ray!
I've never been one to be superstitious, but maybe this gold is cursed. How is it you're still breathing, Barnsby? I don't know. That Apache chief took his knife, cut my ties, and set me free. Not a word why. Wasn't too hard to follow your trail. Must have been the good Lord's will. This gold will help me restore the army of the Confederate States of America. Under my command, the South will rise again, and this time we will be victorious! Colonel, you've lost your goddamn mind. And I think the time has come for you two to pay the price for your cowardice and desertion. Don't die here.
some bitches over there. It's time to die, Iron Beak. Marisa. Slip away like like I did with my family. I propose that we meet on the field of honor. A fair fight between me and one of you. God 
we'll protect the righteous. Or are you too cowardly to face me man to man? He's mine. There were three of us in those bitter days, and each of us would have braved the fires of hell for the other. No one could stand against us when we stood together. Three brothers. William, well, he was the best of us. A man of faith. He sacrificed his life to deliver me from evil. Like the Savior himself, dying for our sins like running river who spared the murderer of his own child. William wanted me to find the Lord, and in his sacrifice, I did. Oh, we left the gold. We knew it was cursed. I put away my guns and dedicated my life to serving the Almighty. I became the preacher my brother William always wanted to be and joined Thomas and Marissa in holy matrimony. William, I know you're looking down on us, and I want you to know your passing was not in vain. And though nothing is like it used to be, one thing remains, we are still a family. 